People, you know, at least my generation, you look back on your life and you say, the first third of your life is to learn. That's what you're doing. The second third of your life, maybe not exactly in thirds, but roughly, is to earn, to make a living, to support your family and your children and to support yourself and to pay back your college loans. <laughs> the third part of your life, hopefully if you live long enough, is to give back or return. You got it? Learn, earn, return. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. I don't really necessarily like it that that's true, but I think it probably is. Another thing that I thought you might need to hear is that I'm pretty sure that your life as you envision it now in the future is probably not going to end up being like you think it is. And you will probably have to redefine your life a number of times. And you will probably think it's tragic sometimes. But I will tell you that actually it is a gift because you will get strong in your weak places and you will be resilient and you will find things about yourself that you don't know. The last thing that I would hope for you is that you do something that matters, something that's beside and outside of yourself. It is the quickest, most radical cure for self-centeredness, self-pity, self-importance. You, you instantly get things in perspective that matter. And I hope for you that every day you will think of something that matters.